So here is my kitchen window. Now I will tell you, it looks like a holiday wonderland and the birds are having such joy out of it because there's all kinds of feeders there, which we'll get into in a minute. Because it didn't look like this just a couple weeks ago. It was very simply hummingbird feeders. And there was a few things out there that I was putting there for them. But in general, it was their favorite hummingbird feeders that they truly enjoy. With a few little hidden ones like the dots and the peanut butter cups and yes, the ice cream containers they love. See the blue thing back there? That's an ice cream container and they absolutely love it. So I decided with the holidays this year that instead of just changing the feeders out, plain old, plain old, I would do something a little different. Maybe something you would enjoy as much as, you know, me and, well, the birds. They don't know the difference. All they know is there's more things around and more feeders and more places to hang feeders as the weather changes. So as you can see, that's what it looked like about a week ago. And this is what it looks like now. And it's still building because I'm still changing things up. I made a styrofoam ball in the back full of bows and there are some dots that they like on there. And then I started adding on different things. The green reef on the back is something I made out of a tote lid. It's green and then it has a little bit of garland stapled on and then I had this little hummingbird that I could put on there too with, as a hanger so I can hang it up. And there's a dot that they feed off of and you'll see. I'll put some videos up of just the hummingbirds feeding and not me. Then I decided, well, to add a little bit of something different, I would put a menorah out there, cut that out of, of course, what else, a tote lid. And I put one dot for the one candle, just one right now. And I made a shelf on the top there. It's not actually a shelf, it's a pole that has like a spring to it. It's not meant to be on the corner. I couldn't find anything that would work. So I made it. I made it out of sponges. If you want to know, you know, I'll show you, but it was just sponges and now it can be wedged in the corner and then the menorah can hang there, the Hanukkah menorah on a hook. And I did take it down. And what I ended up doing was stapling on more of where the candles would be. Uh, I don't know what you would call it, but I stapled on some extra blue tote lid cutout with this stick and it doesn't swing anymore. So now it can just hang there and they can feed off of the one dot that's there. This has been a fun project to do. I haven't done something like this in a long time. A lot of the cute things like the snowman, little soldier guy from the Nutcracker, that's all from the Dollar Tree. They had a lot of great things, the tree. That Christmas tree hanging down there, it's from the Dollar Tree. There's a bell, and on the silver bell, I added on another dot for them to feed on. You can see that. Then, like I said, I had the ice cream containers that they can feed out of. I make those. They absolutely love them. It's one of their favorites. And then there's peanut butter cups. Some of them are just standing on. I had a tin with a Santa Claus, so I just put it on top. But this way they can come in and they can feed and the lighting will change as the day goes on whether the sun is in there or we've got clouds we've got clouds moving back and forth right now so the lighting does change there but see the menorah no longer will swing there's a stick and it's stapled on with bits of tote lids stapled on you can staple right into tote lids the plastic and now that's going to hold it nice and secure and no swinging because they don't want to be trying to feed out of a dot that's swinging all over the place. Isn't this cool? It's very different. Now I do have other hooks there. So as the weather changes and rain comes in, I can add in even more feeders. Though I have feeders everywhere, I can add in a few more. And I also did stick a candy cane out the window, as you can see, and that now holds an extra feeder. That will be to the right. You'll see it. So it just a kind of a little bit of fun added in. Yes, you can see there's a fountain there too. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't know if they'll use it. They've checked it out, but they haven't used it yet. Hummingbirds generally do not want to bathe in the same place they're eating because, well, there's just too many of them and they're at their weakest moment when they're all wet. But somebody might try it. So for fun, it's there. It looks cute. It's a... It's a snowball is what I made in a vase. The vase is lined in plastic, so the water goes into a plastic bag, a food grade plastic bag, and then it goes up the ball, 
back into the plastic bag and up the bowl. What you see there on the bottom right, that's a peanut butter cup that he was feeding out of. And then of course you've got your conventional feeders that are made by First Nature hanging there. They love them, that's their favorite. I get them at Walmart. You can get them anywhere, but the Walmart ones don't allow bees in. And then I also have the other ones by First Nature with the larger holes, which I actually do prefer. See the dot he was feeding in the center? And now he went to the peanut butter cup. It's funny because different birds like different ways of eating, and you never know. One may not want to eat out of a feeder. And this actually gives them a little bit of a challenge when you look at this window with all these feeders there. Because what it's doing is it's making them hunt. Just the same as when they're in the garden, they hunt from flower to flower, bush to bush, looking for insects, looking for nectar, looking for pollen. Well, they're doing the same thing in the window. They're kind of hunting out and seeing, where did she hide a feeder? And there's a few that are hidden there that you may not even see, but they'll find. And they do like that. It's a challenge. That's all part of their lifestyle hunting for food that they may find something they really like. Remember, flowers taste different. So the nectar may be, you know, different and sometimes depending on the type of sugar you use. So they just hunt around to see if something tastes better, something's cooler, something's warmer. But this has been really fun. Will I do it next year? Probably. But I really do sit and enjoy watching them here. Isn't this fun? And then sometimes they come in by the thousands. So that's when I have to add another feeder here and there. But I thought you might get a kick out of this. Ask questions because I believe I've got videos on how I made the reef, which is no big deal. And then the menorah, I just cut that out, drew out a quick hand sketch of a menorah and cut that out. Something I can hang up there and put a little dot on. And then I've got garland wrapped around the bottom. There's a shelf there so I can have the water fountain there. I have the tin, just an old Christmas tin that I put a peanut butter cup on top. Next to that is a ice cream container. That's another ice cream container feeder. And then like I said, there's kind of dots all over the place. Like you, I just really love to watch them. And this goes on from morning, early morning till late at night. They're so busy. There's so much fun to watch. So soon I'll be getting up more videos on just them feeding. You won't hear me. You'll be able to just watch them go from feeder to feeder. And I think you'll enjoy that. Maybe like a Yule log, but you'll be watching hummingbirds feeding in the window during the day. I hope you enjoyed this as I enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.